the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. In this continuing celebration of the resurrection of Christ for the 40 days until ascension, uh, when the resurrection appearance has occurred, <coughs> we honor, after Thomas, on the next Sunday, we honor the holy myrrh bearers, um, particularly the women, but also Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus. Um, the disciples were holed up in the upper room out of fear that they too would be arrested and crucified. But somehow the women <coughs> and Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus were given courage by the Holy Spirit and, they, and Joseph went publicly to Pilate and said, will you please give me his body? And Pilate uh, complied. Uh, the women um, literally over the Jewish Sabbath of Passover prepared the, um, the spices so that they could anoint the body. Uh, according to Jewish law, the bodies were not embalmed like the Egyptians, but they were um, rubbed all over uh, with uh, fragrant spices uh, in order to mute the smell of death. And so they came early and to their surprise. The stone was rolled away. <coughs> And there was an angel sitting on the pier uh, in the place of Jesus who told him he's not here, he's risen, as he predicted. Uh, <clears throat> those women um, had actually tended to the needs of Jesus and the 12 disciples during the three years of public ministry. They took care of the food, they, darned, they, uh, they sewed the garments that became ripped. They literally took care of all the mundane tasks uh, that were necessary to keep this uh, ministry of the Messiah, the Christ, afloat. And so we celebrate today their devotion to Christ, uh, not giving up and going away in disillusionment when he, instead of occupying the throne of, of, of Israel, um, allowed himself to be arrested, charged with tr civic treason and religious heresy, and to be killed with the jeering of the crowd loyal to the scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And uh, their loyalty did not waver, even though it seemed like all things were lost. They were still going to take care of the body, if that was all that was left. And so uh, they will forever be remembered in the history of the world because of their devotion to Christ and their courage at this tough time. They invite us to the same devotion to Christ and the same courage to stand up for the things of Christ in a world in which Christ is being verbally crucified every living day by the secular humans, by the progressives. Uh, they have made him and Christianity the enemy of mankind in their eyes. And so the myrrh-bearing women and Joseph and of Arimathea and Nicodemus literally set an example for us in the face of adversary to be loyal to Christ and to be publicly and openly loyal to Christ uh, through this age. And uh, as we feed on the very life of God and the body and blood of Christ, let us pray for the courage to stand up for the Lord during this troubling time. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen.